If you do not have the SOLIDWORKS tutorials displayed on your screen, select Help and SOLIDWORKS Online Tutorials. To begin with Lesson 2, Assembly, click Lesson 2, Assembly from the Tutorial window. An assembly is a combination of two or more parts. Remember, in Lesson 1, we created Tutor 1. Now, we need to create another part, called Tutor 2, and an assembly which combines Part Tutor 1 with Part Tutor 2. Click Next. Let's create a new document. Click New from the Standards Toolbar. From the Tutorial tab, select Part and click OK. The first feature you will create is an extruded base feature on the front plane. Click Extruded Boss Base from the Features Toolbar. Select the front plane for the sketch plane. Sketch a rectangle. Click Rectangle from the Sketch Toolbar. Click an origin and drag upward and to the right. Click Smart Dimension. Click the horizontal line. Click a position above the horizontal line to place the dimension. Click the vertical line. Click a position to the right of the vertical line to place the dimension. The black sketch is fully defined. Edit the dimension. Double click on the text. Enter 120. Click the green check mark. Press the Z key if you need to. Double click on the second dimension. Enter 120 and click the green check mark. The sketch is fully dimensioned. Click Exit Sketch. Enter 90 for depth. Click OK. I press the F key to fit the model to the graphics window. Expand the Views toolbar and click Hidden Lines Visible. Make certain that you have performed every step in the instructions. Create the fillet. Click Fillet from the Feature Manager. Select the four edges. Enter 10 for fillet radius and click OK. Click Next. You should remember the shell feature from Lesson 1. Click Shell. Click the front face. From the Shell Property Manager, enter 4 for thickness and click OK. Save the part as Tutor 2. I am using my documents to save the parts. You may have to browse to select another location. Click Next. Display lines, hidden lines removed. Next, I will use the command Convert Entities and Offset Entities to create sketch geometry. Zoom in on the front face. Click the front face for the sketch plane. Click Extruded Cut from the Features Toolbar. Expand the Sketch Toolbar and click Convert Entities. Convert Entities places selected model edges or sketch entities onto the current sketch plane. So this outside edge that goes all the way around Tutor 2 part is what has been converted. Click Next. I'll use this new edge and create an offset edge. Click the front face, expand the sketch toolbar, and click Offset Entities from the sketch toolbar. Enter 2 for offset distance. Reverse the direction so that the offset, notice the yellow line, goes to the inside and click OK. You now have two sketched curves as part of your current sketch. Click Next. To see the sketches, window select on the front face. This is not a step in the existing online tutorial but you can clearly see from my video how they are displayed in green. Click Exit Sketch from the Sketch Toolbar. The Cut Extrude Property Manager is displayed. Enter 30. Click OK. Click Zoom to fit. Click Next. 